We have seen earlier that uh, the speed of the DC motor or the steady state speed of the DC motor can be controlled by three methods which is the terminal voltage or by using the uh, fuel flux or by using the armature resistance. However, the last method which is the armature resistance is normally avoided because as I said earlier, uh, when we add the external resistance to the armature circuit, there will be and associated losses due to the I square R. This external resistance will cause an extra uh, copper losses to the uh, DC motor drives, which means that the efficiency is going to be reduced due to these uh, higher losses. So we left with two options, which is vary the uh, terminal voltage VT or to vary the fuel flux or the flux per pole. Typically, when we do the control or the speed control of DC motor, uh, we will control the armature voltage or the terminal voltage VT from zero to the base speed. Base speed is equivalent to the rated speed. The speed between zero to the base speed or the rated speed is controlled by controlling the terminal voltage VT. Once we reach the base speed, then if we need to further increase the speed then we can not further increase terminal voltage because we have reached the maximum terminal voltage. Therefore, to further increase the speed, we will use the field flux reduction methods. So if you look at the uh, top versus the speed characteristics of the DC motor from zero to base speed, we use the terminal voltage control. And then once we reach the base speed here, then we increase the speed by using the field flux or by reducing the field flux which means that uh, from zero to base speed the maximum torque capability is constant which is only limited by the armature current once we reach the base speed then in order to further increase the speed the power has to be retained to this maximum value therefore the only way to, to increase the speed is to reduce the field flux This method is typically used in a DC motor drive systems. So from zero to base speed, armature voltage control and from uh, above the base speed, then we reduce the flux or what we call the field flux reductions. Okay, once we reach the, ba the base speed, then we reach the maximum power of the machine. And to further increase that, then we have to maintain this maximum power. Therefore, we need to reduce the flux. The region here is called the uh, constant torque and the region here is called the constant power. So how do we control this based on our schematic of the Shan motor connection? We control the uh, armature voltage by controlling VT and we control the field flux by controlling RCF. However, there is a problem when we use this method because as we control VT from zero to the base speed, then we will also controlling or affecting IF, which is the field current or the flux per pole. Okay, and controlling IF via RFC is not practical because that will uh, cause losses and it is not easy to maintain a constant IF while we vary VT. So therefore, a more practical approach is to use a separately excited DC motor. And we have two separate supply for the armature circuit and for the field circuit. What if we have an AC supply instead of DC supply? Well, the DC supply for the armature and for the field therefore has to come from the AC to DC converter. This is a typical configuration of a DC motor drive with AC power supply. Let's do example 4.8 now. Okay, we are going to do example 4.8 now, which is uh, an example related to the speed control of DC motor. 
the question is shown here it says that uh, the uh, DC motor is supplied by a variable voltage source which means that we are going to assume that there is a, a variable voltage source which is used to fed the DC motor which can uh, you know varies the voltage from 0 to 500 uh, volts torque and power profiles are shown in figure 4.53 D which is shown here uh, which is similar to what we have discussed just now uh, from 0 to base speed uh, we vary the terminal voltage uh, or the VT is controlled and once we reach the maximum power here then we can no longer increase the voltage uh, in order to increase the speed and the speed is therefore increased by reducing the field flux which is by reducing the field current uh, where we control the field current here or this is the constant torque region and this is the constant power region or the flux weakening region so in this case the base speed is uh, 1500 rpm and the voltage at the maximum power here is 500 volts part 8 of the question asks us to find uh, the uh, motor armature current IA if the torque is held constant at 300 newton meter so the torque here is going to be held constant at 300 newton meter and that base speed is, that speed is just the base speed is 1500 rpm okay so beyond that then the torque capability is reduced because uh, from 1500 onwards the field flux is weakened in order to increase the speed all right so let's draw the schematic of this uh, DC drive speed control system first so we have the um, DC variable power supply here okay uh, which is connected to the armature of the DC motor so we have the armature resistance uh, which is excited by the field circuit here so this is a separate circuit okay which is supplied by separate source and the armature here is controlled by the variable DC supply in which uh, VT can be varied from 500 from 0 to 500 volts so this is RA this is the back MFEA so the question the first part of the question part a ask uh, us to find the motor armature current ia if the torque is held constant at 300 newton meter up to the base speed assuming that is 5 300 newton meter then up to the base speed then this torque is held constant and what is going to be the armature current flowing in the armature circuit here the information that we can obtain from this question is very limited because RA is not given so in order to calculate the uh, armature current we have to make uh, an assumption so part A of the questions if you write down the KVL of the armature circuit here you can write down VT as equals to IA RA plus EA. Okay, the assumptions that we are going to make is that at uh, IA RA is much much smaller than EA which means that with these assumptions I can say that uh, VT is therefore roughly equals to EA. This is true since uh, RA is typically very small and at high speed especially at 500 volts then um, the values of IARA which is the voltage drop across the armature resistance is going to be very much much smaller than EA so with that assumptions we can say that at uh, 500 volts which is at the base speed here 
this must be equals to um, k phi omega which means that k phi is therefore equals to 500 over omega and what is omega we're going to take the maximum value at 1500 so omega is equals to 1500 over 60 times 2 pi and that is equals to 157 radian per second so therefore k phi is equals to 3.18 3 okay so from there we can therefore calculate the values of the current because we know that uh, we know that torque is equals to k phi the same k phi here times i a uh, that means that 300 newton meter is equals to k phi times i a so therefore i a is equals to Ninety-four point two ampere. Now, let's assume that, um, for example, R A is equals to zero point one, which is a typical values for a large uh, DC uh, motor. Uh, therefore, I A R A is basically equals to nine point four based on that I A, which is uh, much much lower than five hundred. Volts. So our assumption saying that IARA is uh, much much lower than uh, EA uh, is uh, in this case is true. Part B of the question says uh, ask us to find the uh, torque available at 3000 rpm if the armature current is held constant at the value obtained in part A which means that beyond uh, the base speed here because the speed now is 300 3000 rpm this is at 1500 rpm so um, 3000 rpm is in the flux weakening region the armature current is held constant however because of the flux weakening the torque is no longer equals to 300 okay because the flux uh, is now weakened in this region which means that uh, the torque as we know is equals to k phi i a if i a is held at 94.2 then because of the flux is reduced now then it is no longer equal to um, 300 newton meter so again we are going to assume that this is part b sorry we are going to assume again that e a is roughly equals to 500 volts because beyond this base speed here the terminal voltage has to be kept constant at maximum values of 500 volts again assuming that the voltage drop across the ra ia is uh, much smaller than 500 then we are going to assume that ea is equals to 500 at 3000 rpm therefore k phi in this case is equals to 500 over 3000 times 2 pi over 60 which is equals to 1.5916 if you compare this value with the previous value of 3.183 we can see that uh, the uh, k phi now is basically half of the previous value of 3.183 which means that the flux is reduced because k is the same as before and since the flux is reduced then k phi is reduced to 1.5916 so from here we can find the torque torque is therefore equals to k phi i a which is equals to 1.5916 times 94.2 that is equals to 150 newton meter which is basically half of the value of uh, 
at 1500. This is because the flux is weakened inversely proportional to the speed. As the speed doubles, then the flux is reduced by half. Okay, so that completes example 4.8.